What's up guys, Mike the Coder here. Today we're going to go over the second problem of CSES problem set, the missing number. You're given all numbers from 1 to n except for one number. Your task is to find the missing number. So uh, your inputting is the array of all the numbers that you're given. And then yeah, each number is distinct and it's between 1 and n. And there's only one missing number that you need to find. So uh, how I did it was, I actually did it by sorting and I don't think that's actually a good idea. I found a better way to do it. And I'm gonna code it up with you guys. Okay, so let's say, so we're gonna read in the array of our numbers. And then we're gonna just loop through and just read that in. So let's do that for now. Uh, let me just change my thing. Uh, where is R? Where I put my array number? Array, R, 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 right here. Oh, okay. So yeah, uh, by the way, I use um, LL means long, long. And we use that in competitive programming because that it's faster to type LL instead of long, long. But anyway, okay, so let's, let's get rid of this DFS real quick. Okay, so we read in the number N and read in the number the array of numbers. So how do we find the missing number? Okay, so what you could do is uh, you could actually just sum up all the values from one to n, right? Using a math equation, and then we just uh, loop. Th we just sum up all the va uh, values in our array, and then if we subtract that sum from that our sum, um, we will get the missing number. And the reason why is because. Um, if you see this, you're given all the numbers from one to n, right? So if I do like one plus two plus three plus four, three plus four up to n, right? I add them all up, up to n. And then I subtract by my current sum of like all the rest of the numbers. So the rest, I should get my missing number, right? Because I have the, the total sum of all the numbers and I subtract from the rest of my array values here, I should be able to get the missing number. So let's code that up. So here we read in the end and we read in our array. And then now we're just going to create a sum zero and we're going to add up all the numbers. So let's do that. Now, um, so this is going to be the, after we added up all our numbers, um, we're just going to do, we're going to take the total sum. And what is the sum of all the numbers from one to n? So the sum of numbers from one to n is going to be a formula we could use. So that's n times n plus one over two. Okay. Now, after we have this total sum, we're just going to do C out um, total sum minus sum. And that should be your missing number. And I believe this should work. So let's actually submit this. Oh, I have to choose a file. Okay, uh, okay. Um, I believe this is this one. Yep, and it got accepted. So yeah, that's pretty much the gist of this problem. I hope you guys understood what I was doing. Essentially is I was just summing up all the numbers from one to n using a math formula called this, n times n plus one over two. So that sums up all the numbers from one to n. And then I just subtract from the rest of them and then I should get my missing number. So the rest of the numbers are the sum that we sum them up from our array of values in here. And then, yeah, I should get the missing number. So yeah, but yeah. So if you don't understand the problem, we have five, one, two, three, one, five, and the missing number here would be four. Yeah, so yeah. So yeah, that's the ba basically just of missing number. And, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Rate, comment, subscribe. I'll check you guys later. Peace.